Hi, welcome back to Celebrating Culture. We're here in Tonti Town, Arkansas, at an Italian winery, and I'm with Heather Rinaldi Pici. What generation are you for this? Fourth generation. Fourth generation yep. of this winery. Great Italian wines and a great story of how they got here. Tawny Town was founded in 1898 by Italians. Most of the Italians that founded Tawny Town were all from Northern Italy, moved from Italy to Lake Village, Arkansas, for different reasons. We're trying to find a new home outside of Lake Village. So Father Bandini heard of the Italians that were having a lot of hard times and helped them find a new home, which was Tawny Town. They chose Tawny Town because of the high elevation, which is good for frost protection for grapes, rocky soil, so it reminded them a lot of the landscape of where they came from. My great-grandpa Nazareno Rinaldi, he was one of the few that came straight from Italy to Tawny Town by himself. My grandparents had seven children. My dad's the youngest of the seven. He and two of his brothers still run our original family farm. They're the last commercial grape growers here in Tawny Town, so we made a lot of wine in the basement. I call it basement wine. We foot stomped the grapes. We were making, literally making wine in the basement with my husband. And it was probably in about maybe early 2009. And my husband said, what do you think about us opening a winery? We found a property and fixed everything up and then opened our doors here in October, 2010. Mid-May through the end of October, we do live music on our patio here. It has gone over really well. We have lots of fun. We love dancers, and depending on the night, we will have dancers out here. Last night was the first night that we've done music, both a full band outside and a smaller band inside. Yes, we have the bochi court over there. All the food really has been well received and we've tried to very carefully build our menu. In the winter we did lasagna soup, which was really fantastic. We have the Italian cheese bread. I'd always heard about the muffalata, but never had one. Knew it was started in New Orleans, but it's an Italian sandwich and it's unique because it's huge and fun and tasty. We took our own trip to New Orleans, tried the different options for muffaladas. We went first to Central Grocery and bought a five gallon bucket of olive salad and toted it home with us. And that's what we're using. Tawny Town has some really awesome Italian restaurants. We have Venetian Inn and we have Mama Z's, but we also have Guido's Pizza that is fantastic. It's really nice that we've been able in different ways with food and agriculture to carry on the traditions of our families that started Tawny Town. There are some other meaningful landmarks here in Tawny Town. We have the immigrant statue in front of City Hall. It has on each side all of the names of the original Italian immigrants that founded Tawny Town. Inside City Hall, they have all of the original family names on barrel staves. Also, just here on the corner is the bell tower for St. Joseph's Catholic Church. I would argue that the Tawny Town Park, Harry Spinotto Park, is the best park in Northwest Arkansas. St. Joseph's Catholic Church built the Education Center. It is named after Father Bandini, who helped the original families found Tawny Town. Now, if somebody wants to know more, you have a website? We do. TawnyTownWinery.com is our website. I want to thank you for being on the show. And, uh, and this thank is a great you place. For I really had a great time here last night. Actually, I was here last Friday and Saturday. See? <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> well, I think you will. I want to actually say salute. All right? Salute to the winery. Salute. salute to Tawnytown. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back with more of Celebrating Culture.